What's up guys, I'm CoolKid246. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Doomspire Brick Battle game. Okay, if you don't know what that is, uh, I'm going to show it to you right now. Doomspire Brick Battle is uh, a game where... It's basically a game where you try to knock out the opponent's spawns by shooting different, like, missiles and stuff uh, at it. Now, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own game. This is a Roblox game. Okay, uh, so this is one of those games, this is made by Temple of Brick Battle, not me. My username is bvdp10 up here. It is not made by me. As you can see, it has this little three dots on it. This is a, um, a game that allows it to copy it. So if you click on those and click edit, it should say trading for Roblox Studio, open Roblox. Okay. And then I already have Roblox open, so it's gonna. Don't worry about this. It'll. There we go. It should. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that. Yeah. Let's see here. Wait for it. Here we go. Okay. And here we go. So this is Doom's Power Brick Battle, right here. And I'll let me show you what it would be before we start modding it and everything. You could just go ahead and publish it like this, but that wouldn't be like all that great just because, you know, it would basically just be copying the other game. So in here, you have the six weapons below and you start with them. You want to climb up the tower and you can see right up here, like the sword, there's actually a bit of drift on it. If you jump, it will go down like that. And let's see, there's a um, rocket launcher right here. That's kind of cool. This game does have sound. I just, you know, as you can see, it takes a while to reload. So I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do several different things. You could change, like, the, first of all, for editing purposes, I would recommend just putting these two GUIs from Star GUI into Workspace, okay? You don't have to be an advanced scripter to do this. It's very simple, very, very simple, okay? So we have the two different teams right there, the holder there, and the holder right there, okay? Now, so the first thing just select on blue, green, red, yellow, and then you can basically just change like the color. You can make it like a darker red. But you could do that if you wanted to. Um, now, if you go look inside a starter pack, you'll see all the different weapons. Now, um, here is a game that I made by copying Doomspire Brick Battle and then making, I called it Brick Battle because I was having some issues trying to call it Doomspire Brick Battle. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into this. I made this as you can see made by BVDP10 right there. Okay, by me. Made this thumbnail right here too and I can show you how to make that as well if you need it, okay? So, if we jump into game, as you can see, it looks mostly the same. Let's spawn right here. Okay, I actually added admin in here just because this is pretty kind of fun. Now, notice what I did. I took out the reload times. So you can now just, oh, <laughs> wow, I'm bad. I just fell right off the edge. You can literally just spam, like, Just, I made the bomb size smaller just because you can spam it and it does a ton of damage. This sword, it's so cool. So I'm going to be showing you how to take the reload times off and some other stuff as well. Okay? So let's get away from here. There we go. Okay. So that's the game that I made. So let's go back to Roblox Studio now. 
how to take the, the reload times off the weapons. First of all, we're going to start with the rocket launcher, okay? You're going to want to go into the server script right here, okay? You're going to scroll down to the very bottom, yep, right here. Debris, call an add item, missile 10. You don't have to worry about this. All you want to do is find the line that says wait and then tool.enabled is equal to true. So this is basically saying um, this is the reload time right here. So I'm going to set zero. Now, play the game. We'll see that the wait time is completely gone. You can shoot it as much as you want. Now, you can also customize like the look of the rocket launcher bullets as they're going out. I'm actually going to come down here. I'm going to fall at the bottom to see if I can get a respawn. Yep, there we go. Okay. okay. Just come in here. Now, um, as you can see, the rocket launcher, boom. I can shoot it as much as I want, just like that. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to show you how to do on the rocket launcher is, let's go back to the server, you can also change how they look, like how the bullets look, right here. Um, okay, so <clears throat> if you look at this, it's in, it's going to Part, the back surface, so you probably want to leave the size alone. Rocket, uh, yep, yeah, right here, the size, you probably want to leave that alone. Here you can basically just take this off. And I think you can go like that and say, let's see, if we go to, we go to colors, let's see, we can make it like a bright red, so really red. How do they say it? Really red. Okay. Now, if we move, I'll just play here so I don't have to climb up all those stairs again. Um, if we play, then it should. Just control Z all that. There you go. Okay. So you know you can mess the size and stuff. This is brick color dot new twenty three. I think that's like the number, so you can mess around with that. Just kind of experimenting to see if that would work. Okay. Now on to the time bomb, let's say. So again, if you want to change the wait time, go into server. I think it's always in the server right here. I'm gonna take the wait times off that. Now you could make really big bombs you can make really small bombs like let's say i change this to five um, there right and then if we play here the bombs are going to be ginormous here we go wait for it. here we go okay now if we put Ooh, that is one big bomb. Now keep in mind, changing the size of the bomb does not change the size of the explosion. Okay? The explosion will still be the exact same, I'm pretty sure. Now if I were you, I wouldn't make the bombs big, like this big. As you saw in my other game, I actually made them smaller than the real bombs. So I'm going to come in here. I'm, I found a good size for me is one. Where is it? Now just remember, if you go to the rocket launcher, you go to server, so what color dot new, if you actually went like this, you could say really red. And you could actually go like that, but I did it. And if you play here, 
uh, the rocket launcher colors white red. So I bought that. But <clears throat> anyway, wait for it. Boom, we have red. Okay, I'm not quite sure what's happening. There. That, I don't know what happened. There's a little like a recap if I'm yellow enough. Okay, so now if we go back to the time bombs, yeah, I already did one. So next is going to be the Super Bowl, okay? Go to server, come down to the very bottom, we don't know this now. And you can change the name, or like the size, you could make it really small or really big. And then somewhere down here it's going to say damage, um, I don't know, but you anyway. So you can find, I think it might be in the local script, perhaps. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. If I wanted to ever change the... Okay. And then I don't really need to show you for the rest of those, that they're all basically just the same. And now you can publish it. And that's how you make your own Doom Spout game. Thanks for watching. See you next time.